Welcome to this week's edition of Techland, the Techland show. Today we're playing Halo 2 on an Xbox. I just I want to talk about this because I have forgotten. <laughs> uh, do you remember that Penny Arcade cartoon where they were like, you could choose between this controller and a bear, <laughs> and and games like I kind of like the bear. <laughs> this thing is incredible. I mean, it's, it's just, just it's just <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so here's an Xbox 360 one. Right. Are we comparing the, the, yes. sort of the footprint? It's like holding like a pumpkin in your hand. We are uh, to the annual uh, top ten list. First annual. Actually, oh, this is the annual. once a decade top ten list because we were doing best of the decade. Oh yes, that's right. And so we kicked it off with top ten. Oh no, best of the decade gadgets. Yeah, you were a little slow off the mark with that one. That went up about twelve thirty on Monday. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, best of the decade. Um, I don't think there were any real big surprises. You know, iPhone, iPod. I chose not to include the GPS because it's not really new. Or that USB. wasn't a 2000 thing, was it? No, but I mean, everyone I was like, well, why didn't you include GPS? I'm like, cause that stuff was out in long before. So what was number one? It was the iPod, the original click wheel iPod. Controversial choice. Little what? known fact, when it uh, when the iPod debuted, uh -huh. I said it was stupid and it would never succeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did my Best of the Decade this morning, oh which yeah? was Best um, Science Fiction and Fantasy Novels. Oh, lovely. Which was very, it was difficult. It was really painful. The number one was obvious to me, uh -huh. and then uh, not a lot else was obvious to me. And uh, there were what, some very tough. What was your number one? The number one was Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark, which came out in 2004. Uh-huh. A beautifully written fantasy novel set in the 19th century. Two sorcerers with a very complicated, rivalrous friendship. Um, uh, just, you know, an astounding, astounding book that just showed you could do things with fantasy that uh, I've never seen done before. Well, what happened? Is there wizard sex? <laughs> <laughs> so, AT&T CEO Ralph De La Vega was all like, yeah, so we're going to fix our towers in San Francisco and New York because we know it sucks. But they've been saying that for like over a year. Yeah. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Well, where is all that iPhone money going to? I mean, they've got to spend it on something. I don't know. They're supposedly trying to fix it. And then he was like, yeah, we're going to try and find a way to curb those individuals that are like data hogs. Um, by which they mean actually... They're going to probably charge us. Oh, did you know that there's a new one coming? A new nerdy, geeky culture site coming out by oh, no. from Dan Abrams. It's called the Geeko System. Oh, good, good name. I wish we oh, yeah. had thought of that. They're basically doing everything that we're doing. Well, Geeko System, we welcome the competition. We're going to school you. Come over and play Halo 2 with us. Kick your ass. Peter will kick your ass. The Juju, the Crunch Pad. <laughs> Wait. Which one is that? You're using a code name. Yeah, what about that? So You've Harry, seen that thing, right? The yes, I've, I've seen it. So, so you used like to work for... I used to work for TechCrunch. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so basically, Fusion Garage, the guys that were building the device, yeah. kind of basically blew off Arrington and TechCrunch and said, you guys are no longer involved with this. This is our thing, and it's not your thing, so screw off. Right, but didn't, the, didn't Arrington, I mean, isn't he... Didn't he have some ownership of the IP? No, according to Fusion Garage, they own everything. Wow. And I actually, I'm actually going to go see it today. Are you kidding? The Juju, uh -huh. which means magic or something in some sort of African language. Right. I don't remember what. Um, wow, we're really not doing a very good job today, are we? Or are we doing an excellent job? You just killed me. That doesn't happen. Yeah. You know, you're not really fighting fair. 